Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah LeBrout and today's video is going to be a little bit of a writing update. If you've been around this channel for a little while, you might recognize the title and notice that this is the third video in this series. The last video I made on this was about eight months ago and the one before that was about 15 months before that. Even though I said I wanted to do this probably about every six months, we're starting that now. Even though today is technically September 12th, I became a full-time content creator, freelance book editor, and writer as of the beginning of this month and I haven't really done a ton of writing since I started September. I did come up with a new story idea that I've kind of been brainstorming for, but because I just made that adjustment from quitting my job to working full-time for myself, I wanted to take the time to sit down and write out where all of my projects are currently so that I can compare myself right now to myself in the future, ideally every six months or so, just to help me track my progress in writing books because that is one of my primary focuses now that I quit my job to be working for myself. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I will leave it linked up here. So if you go on to enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up because that really supports my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future as I make them every couple of months or so, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And now, without further ado, let's get into talking about all the books I want to write. You guys know the drill with this. I have a Sharpie, I have some blank paper, and we're just going to write this out because writing in Sharpie is so much more satisfying than writing in anything else. I feel like the book we always have to start with in these videos is Project DE. Pretty much every single one of the titles that I have for my books is an abbreviation of the original placeholder title, which is often just a concept and not a real title. For most of them, some of them are real titles, but I abbreviate almost all of my book titles and that's how I refer to them. So we're gonna start with Project DE. Ooh, it's a brand new Sharpie too. So DE actually just passed its six year anniversary from the idea being formed, but its six year anniversary was July 17th or something like that. And we are now on draft five of DE and I'm roughly halfway through the edits on that draft. I am hoping, hoping, really, really hoping that DE is not gonna go past like six drafts, at least like six major overhaul drafts because that's what they've been so far is pretty intensive edits or revisions or whatever you wanna call them. And the reason that I've been working on this project for so long is I started it when I was in college. So I was already distracted with my schoolwork, which makes sense. But as I was writing it in college, I thought that DE was just gonna be one book. I thought it was gonna be like four or 500 pages. Yes, kind of long, all things considered. It's a high fantasy, but I thought it was gonna be one book. So I was just writing the story. And then I got to about 216,000 words, which is like a little over twice the size of The Hunger Games. And I realized that it was not gonna be a four or 500 page book because I was not even to the middle of it yet. And thus at that point, it became a trilogy. So when I talk about Project DE, I'm talking about the book one that I took from that 216,000 words that I've now been editing. And because I was originally writing it as one book and not a trilogy, most of my edits have been going back into fixing voice and writing itself because I wrote it over so many years, but also fixing the plot and character arcs because the ending was not as satisfying as I wanted it to be because I ended up just cutting the book into three pieces, technically, even though I just kind of cut out book one. Book two and three are kind of amalgamous at this point. So that's why DE has taken so much time and that's why it's required so many overhauls, but we're halfway through the edits on draft five. There is part of me that still wants DE to be the first book that I publish. I don't know what's gonna happen with that, but it is what it is. I feel like the second book we have to talk about is LRF, which I commonly refer to as the book that I wrote in high school because no brainer, it's the book I wrote in high school. LRF also is the abbreviated title for what I think the actual title might be. And LRF has gone through a variety of revisions and I was not very good in high school at tracking my revisions and which revision I was on. So it's kind of questionable. I have something of a rough draft done. And recently I actually went back through and I reread that project just to kind of feel out where I was at, what information I had already on the page, and to kind of start sparking ideas for if I wanted to rewrite this, where I would need to start, some ideas I might need to have, etc. So I have, we're just going to say it's drafted, and I have reread this for the eventual rewrite, whenever it is that I decide to get around to that. Oh, and LRF is a dystopian, kind of, because I was writing it during the height of Divergent and The Hunger Games and everything along those lines. LRF is really fun. It is also book one, theoretically, in its respective series, but that is for me to revisit when I get back to rewriting it. 
or when I start rewriting it. The third book I want to talk about is CBH. CBH is a sci-fi that is definitely still evolving in my brain right now, even though I do have the first roughly 50,000 words written down. I do think that CBH is definitely going to need those 50k to be heavily revised and edited once I figure out where the story's actually going, because I basically wrote it as a discovery draft, or what some people consider a zero draft, where as a pantser, instead of outlining, you were just getting all of your ideas out on paper, and while all of my ideas are not fully on paper, it's a pretty solid start. It encapsulates some of the events that I want to happen. I just haven't written the entire book yet. So it definitely still needs some work, but that's okay. When I was writing CBH, I actually realized that I was writing two separate stories involved in CBH all at the same time. And while I'm saying that CBH is a standalone, I think that's how most of my books start and then they turn into series. So we'll see. At this current point, it's a standalone. But when I was writing CBH, I realized that I was writing two stories in CBH that did not belong together. And so we also have a sci-fi romance that I'm going to write down as book number four. And sci-fi romance is what I am referring to this book as so far because I don't have a better title for it. I would say that this one only has a couple chapters done and mostly it's just some concepts, but not actually any like plot or anything. So we're just gonna write that down. So project number five that we're gonna write down of the books that I want to write was a Persephone and Hades retelling that I wrote about 26,000 words of not last summer, but the summer before that for Camp Nano July, I believe. And that was really just a fun project to give me a break from DE because I had been working on it for so long. I had not experienced drafting or writing something new in a while and that's what I wanted to do. So I used that as a break from that. And I'm honestly not sure if this is a project that I'm actually gonna go back and revisit very much. However, it might just be fun. It might evolve into something completely different. I don't know. That's why I'm making this video is so that I can look back in the future at where it was at this point in time and see how it evolves in the future. So book number six we're going to write down that I did mention in the last video that I made of this is Project Veil. And in this one, Veil doesn't stand for anything. It's literally because when it was snowing this past winter, I live in Utah, so there was like a curtain or what looked to be like a veil between a couple of the mountains. So in one of the canyons and it just like sparked an idea. I was on my way driving to the gym. It just like striked up this idea that I wanted to use that imagery in a book and so now I'm building a book around that or a booked concept around that. I haven't started writing it yet so I'm going to say that this is in the more idea phase and I do have a Pinterest board for it so I'm going to write that down too. And then book number seven is a book that I came up with last week or book idea that I came up with last week and I am calling it SVE. This one is very much new idea. It's not even really concept forward right now. It's more focused on, I kind of hate to say it, but like the vibes and I have a playlist for it and there's like 16 songs in the playlist and it just is such a cool energy around the idea that I want to write it but I'm also scared that I'm not going to be able to write it out as well as I want to. So for this one it's in the idea phase and I have a Spotify playlist for it. I also said book. It might not be a book. This might be a short story. This might turn into a poem. I don't know how to best capture what I currently have in my head and translate it onto the page in some way. Honestly this could make like a great screenplay. I've never tried writing a screen play before. I, I don't know. Like, I don't even know if it's like fantasy. I know it's more romance, which is interesting because I don't feel like I write a lot of romance, but I'm just trying to figure out what form would be best for this. So maybe I'll write that down, form unknown. Book number eight that I want to talk about is kind of in the same vein as SVE. Not really, but like has a similar energy to it. And I'm trying to figure out if those are two stories I want to blend or if I want to leave them separate. But for right now, they're separate. And this is F F or Project FF. And FF is very much in the beginning stages still. It's still mostly just a concept. I have attempted writing a beginning a couple times and I also have a Pinterest board and a Spotify playlist for this. I try to make Pinterest boards and Spotify playlists for all of my books because even though I do not write to music, I like listening to the music for the project that I'm going to be working on before I sit down to write just so that it brings me back to that headspace. And that seems to work really well for me. And I would say that these are my primary interests right now. So this is where I'm going to leave it because the other ones that I've mentioned in my past two videos have not made any kind of progress, which is totally okay. And I mentioned eight books or eight projects in this video, DE, LRF, CBH, The Sci-Fi Romance, My Persephone and Hades Retelling, Project Veil, SVE, and FF. 
even though I think the Persephone and Hades retelling doesn't really have as much of my attention right now as the other projects do. So I would say that I'm focusing on these seven projects right now, DE, LRF, CBH, the sci-fi romance, Veil, SVE, and FF. And I would say that with those seven, I definitely have my work cut out for me. I also am excited about NaNoWriMo this year because I'm going to potentially start on something like Project Veil, the LRF rewrite, SVE, something along those lines, or maybe I'll mix it up and work on a couple projects during that span of time. I'm not totally sure yet, but I'm very much looking forward to the day that I figure that out. So with that, this is my list right now, currently as of quitting my job and fully working for myself. These are the projects that I want to focus the most on and the ones that are the furthest along, we'll say, or at least hold my attention the most right now. So with that, thank you so much for watching this writing update. I really appreciate it. I'm Sarah Lebrat. I'm currently posting videos twice a week if you want to follow me for more content. You can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Sarah Lebrat Writes. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.